Hi friends, and welcome to the Shits and Gigs podcast, where the vibe is high, the humor gets raunchy, and things get spicy when we talk about food. Tonight is an episode of Bath Bombs, where I get to relax quite literally in my tub while connecting with all of you on some random topics that I felt would be beneficial for you guys to hear throughout my week. We've got quite a wide variety of topics tonight, but first things, I just wanted to give a shout out to our episode number seven, Boundaries Are a Girl's Best Friend with my friend Amanda. I've been getting such great feedback from everyone that's tuned in to listen, so if you haven't listened to it yet, I highly recommend it. One of the biggest takeaways that I really loved from the episode, she dropped Sarah's nuggets throughout the entire thing, and she's just super lovable. I felt like we were just having a great time, but also dropping some serious boundary bombs. So the one that really stood out to me was the concept of viewing your energy as money. So think like every single day you wake up and your energy bank has $100 in it. How are you going to spend that? For me, I'm a recovering people pleaser, so saying no was really hard, or still is, honestly, to this day when it comes to setting those boundaries to protect my energy, because to me, a boundary is like a loving contract with yourself to make a certain choice that is going to protect your energy for like the better, if that makes sense. That's how I view a boundary. Comment below if you have a different view of a boundary because I love hearing different perspectives. So when she said this, this was huge to me because another thing that's really motivating to me is money because I'm really chasing after a life without limits. So I know money, people say money can't buy you happiness, but it can buy you freedom of choice and the opportunity to create experiences with your family without stressing whether you have the money for it or not. Um, cause nowadays a lot of things you still can't embrace that are free, like getting outside and doing things of that nature, but a lot of things do cost something and coming from someone that's balling on a budget, I know how hard it can feel for the people who don't really have the money to go spend on all of these experiences. And that's not what I want for my life. And we're, um, making big changes to change the trajectory of our debt and savings. Um, Kind of went off on a tangent. So anyways, back to the main idea here. Energy equals money. At the beginning of your day, you have $100 in your energy bank. Say you're not absolutely loving your outfit, but you're just like going with it, going with the flow. It wasn't your morning. Maybe you didn't get to style your hair or whatever. So you threw it up in a bun. When you walk out the door, I would hope after listening to this episode, you would gain the confidence to know that you don't need to give a shit whether anyone cares of what your hair looks like or not, because you are choosing, you made the choice to just own your shit with the mom frizz and all or whatever you got going on and you chose to just be okay with it. So why let anyone else kind of deter that mood for you? So say you go to the grocery store, you notice maybe someone glimpses at you First off, just saying, people don't fucking care about you that much to really have an opinion. So chill out. Don't stress. Just do you, boo. Um, But anyways, would you go ahead and give that person $100 or maybe like $25 out of your $100 for the day just because you feel like you offended them by your hair? Absolutely not. So like this was a very like black and white decision maker like kind of truth bomb for me when Amanda shared it because when it comes to spending money I'm very particular about where money flows because we are trying to be mindful so we can increase our savings and pay off like certain debts that we have and stuff so when she put energy as money like that was just like a big eye opener for me so what she said she did also like in the beginning to trigger her mind to have this mindset of like, am I going to pay, would I pay this person X amount of dollars um, knowing I may not get any like investment return um, just because I'm going to give a shit about what they think about me or like how they're going to feel because I made a certain choice. Definitely, definitely a huge one for me. So again, if you are someone, you're like a recovering people pleaser like me, or you just feel like boundaries would be a beautiful way to respect yourself this year, 
definitely go on the Shits and Gigs podcast, spelled S-H-I-I-T-S, like the shiitake mushroom, and Gigs podcast, and watch episode seven with my girl Amanda. And moving on to our next topic, something juicy came up into the Nutrition Club space today, or not today, this week. Um, Our friend Joanna, who has actually also been a guest, the manifesting episode, we had mentioned we always chat on a variety of topics. And this week, her, Jess, and I ended up talking about enemas. First off, (laughs) side note, I have things called like megasms because I think I have like hearing loss or I just like struggle to hear things properly with background noise or whatever my issue is. But I thought they were saying edemas, like edema instead of enema until I researched it today to like find out some more details. So little like funny point there. I thought it was called edemas, not enemas. But here it says essentially in case you don't even know what an enema is because I had heard of it, but I just wasn't aware of like the whole process or that people did them regularly apparently for like gut health and stuff. So very basic explanation of an enema. Essentially, it's the act of like forcing some type of fluid, whether it be water or some other like medical grade enema um, up your butthole. I know guys, we're going here. (laughs) And this softens the stool in your colon and allows any hard blockages to essentially like immediately flush out. Apparently you do have a warning. You don't have to like instantly transfer yourself to the toilet or something. There's about five minute window. So you don't have to worry about like, I don't know, shitting yourself on the blanket because you also have to like lay down while you're doing it. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I'm sold on this, but it was quite interesting to talk about. So here are your top benefits of enemas if you do choose to go down that rabbit hole and look into the options. Um, So first thing is relieving constipation. So if you are someone that is prone to constipation often or you have a lot of gut imbalances, this could be a great way to flush out your system regularly. However, I did see, take note that frequent use of a laxative enema can cause electrolyte imbalance and dehydration. So I think no matter who you are, unless you like really dive into some research, definitely check with your doctor first before purchasing or administering an enema for yourself. Um, They're fantastic for a colon cleanse. So apparently this an enema is a way that people will prepare for a colonoscopy sometimes. Again, it's just to get like the junk out of there, anything that's stuck so they can like see what's going on. But if you feel like you're kind of backed up and bloated and feel gross and sludgy inside, it could also be a great colon cleanse for you. Again, not like super frequently. I don't think you want to be doing it, not like on a weekly basis, although I think Joanna mentioned that she knew someone that did do it on a weekly basis. So again, do your research. Um, Number three, they're useful for treating inflammatory gut diseases such as inflammatory bowel disease or people with Crohn's also could benefit from the different benefits of doing regular enemas. So if you are impacted with either of those, definitely dive into this topic. Um, number four provides immediate relief. So if you're feeling super uncomfortable because you haven't been able to go to the bathroom, maybe your eating was out of whack for a week from being on vacation or whatever it may be, this could be an option to just like flush it all out and have like a kind of a clean slate for things. And number five, detoxing your gut. So what I did or what we did get chatting about, Jess had mentioned that she had heard about enemas on the Angie Lee show. Definitely check her out on Instagram and her podcast is on all platforms, the Angie Lee show. She dove into enemas a while ago. It's a highlight in her like health and wellness um, on her Instagram, the highlight. So if you want to look into that, or you could just search Healthy Bum Co. Enema, and that's the brand that she recommends. And there is a lot of interesting information on there. So I will throw that link in the description. If this is something that really interests you, I definitely recommend checking them out. And they have like all of these kits and everything. And you can even, when you go onto their site, it'll prompt you to take a quiz. So then they can personalize a recommendation for a kit for like whatever you're feeling. 
And I thought it was interesting in the quiz, it asks, like, I don't know, it seems to like help with a variety of different health um, inflammation issues or like there was like anxiety and depression, there was like gut imbalance, there was honestly a whole bunch of things like different like skin conditions and um, energy even. So I am very curious. I'm not sure I'm sold on it just yet myself, but I think maybe by the end of the year, I'll set a goal to do one of these and then I'll come back on here and give my feedback. (laughs) But I will throw that link in the description for you guys so you can check out that information. And just a random little topic here. I learned some new lingo this week. Did anyone else know that Brad's and Chad's refers to like frat boys? We were talking about a concert and Josh had mentioned that it was like filled with Brad's and Chad's. And I was like, what the, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Cause I'm not cool. And I don't know any of the new hip lingo. Um, but yeah, apparently it means frat boys. So if you want to sound cool and refer to, um, frat boys as something different, you can call them Brad's and Chad's apparently. And let's wrap this thing up so then I can relax. My wellness mocktail recommendation for this week is Watermelon Cooler. It was our special at Elevated Nutrition this week, and it was a huge hit. Everyone was raving about it. If you would like to try it yourself, feel free to swing in at Elevated Nutrition, 34 New Snack Hill Road in West Greenwich, Rhode Island, and come visit us. I'm there on Mondays and Wednesdays regularly and every other Saturday. And then honestly, I pop in at least once a day probably otherwise just because it gets us out of the house and cam loves going there so anyways watermelon cooler here is your wellness mocktail for the week you're gonna do half a teaspoon of herbalife raspberry energizing tea two to three capfuls of mango aloe a pomegranate liftoff and then you're gonna do half a teaspoon of watermelon and white grape Herbalife drink mixes. These are boosted with vitamin C and they enhance the flavors to taste more like a refresher. This will have 160 milligrams of caffeine. So if you're trying to be mindful, we could always switch that raspberry tea to collagen because collagen is caffeine free and it still has that fun fruity flavor. So then you'd only get the caffeine benefits from the pomegranate liftoff. Whatever floats your boat, friends. This was a nice fruity refreshing combo. Again, watermelon cooler, half a teaspoon of raspberry tea. You got your mango aloe, a pomegranate liftoff, and watermelon and white grape. All right, friends, that's all I got for you tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Toodles.